so let's go ahead and sketch in the basic shapes of our Boston Terrier. And I'm going to start kind of in the middle of my page. I'm going to sketch in a shape for the head. So kind of a circle shape up here. And then we're going to um, draw a line coming down to create a neck. And I'm going to draw kind of a nose shape up here on the top. Okay, I'm going to now add the ears, and I have one ear that's going to just come up like this, and we'll see the whole ear, and then I have another ear that's going to go right off the edge of the page, so kind of like that. So that's kind of our basic shape that we're going to start off with. Then um, we're going to sketch in this nice little shape for the black uh, fur on his face. And right in here is where we're going to add the eye. Okay. The other side will not be able to see the eye, but we'll be able to see a little of that black fur there. So I'm going to sketch that in. And I want to sketch in the nose now. And um, I'm going to zoom in on my phone so I can see the nose a little better, so I can see what I'm drawing. Okay, so I'm going to sketch in a shape like this. And I'm going to draw a line coming down. Then we're going to draw his mouth. So we'll draw a curved line coming around. I'm going to adjust the shape of this just a little bit. And then I'm going to draw a curved line coming down. And just like that for the mouth. there. And now I'm going to zoom back out so I can see what else we need to do. Okay, it looks like we need to add a collar. You can choose to add a collar or not. Um, I know that some dogs don't always have collars on, so it's okay. You don't want to add a collar, but I'm going to add a collar to this one. create this dog except for the shading. I'm going to start with the ears and first I'm just going to shade it an overall medium gray on the whole thing because I know the whole thing is at least that dark and then I'm going to add some additional value to certain places on that ear. So, so let's go ahead and um, add some darkness to this outside edge and where it connects to the head, it's also, there's also going to be some darkness there. So we're going to add darkness just along that area where it connects. Okay. We're also going to add some darkness, but not quite as um, thick of an area, just on this side of the ear. So just kind of like that. We're going to then add some darkness to this section. And again, the same thing, I, I know that it's all going to be at least this value, so I'll go ahead and shade that area in. Is they okay over there? Okay. Okay. I'm going to add 
add a little sparkle in its eye. Even though I can't really see that in the picture, I think it looks fun to add that. So I'm going to add that, and I'm going to shade an eye pretty dark. Okay. And I want to do a darker. What uh, would you want me to show someone with the brush over that? That would be fabulous. How tall are you? Five feet. So I'm going to add a little darker area. I'm going to bring it around and um, right under here I'm going to make a darker area too. Kind of feed that out. So that's looking pretty good for that section of the face. Now um, I'm going to go ahead and darken in this ear as well. And then I'm, I'm going to add some darker shading to this one side and the top. And that looks pretty good to me for that ear. I want to shade in this section nice and dark. I'm going to put a tiny little shadow right there, but not really very much. And then where his nose is, I'm going to shade in the nostrils extra dark and come around for that shadow. Same thing here. And then I'm going to shade in a dark value, but not quite as dark as I did for these sections here. I'm going to make sure that line stands out, so I'm going to darken that in just a little. And I'm going to shade this part right up until the very edge and stop. And then I'm going to shade in this part. Okay, and a little shading just underneath where that lip overlaps. His lower jaw, we're just going to shade a little bit of darkness there. And then we're going to shade in some darkness here. Okay, and then we'll just add a little bit of that lighter value shading right there where his mouth is closed. Okay. Um, we're going to add a little bit of shadow under his chin, not a lot, just a little to kind of show some some of that wrinkle texture there. Um, and let's see, what else? Oh, we definitely need to add a little shadow right here. That's part of what's going to give him some personality is that little smell there with the shading there. So we'll add a little shading there. I'm going to add just a light amount of shading here and I'm going to create kind of those little spots where his whiskers are growing in. Okay. And once I get the shading the way I want it under this chin, then um, I'm going to move on and add just a little bit of shading right here on the neck. A little indication of a fold in his skin right here. And let's see, the collar could use some value. I'm going to create this. Area here. Mm -hmm. Checking in 
over. I want him to look as much like this cute Romeo dog as I can make him look. I'm going to add a little shading right here. And I think that I'm basically done with um, the main part of my drawing. Now, in order to finish him up, you can put him in whatever kind of environment that you'd like. I'm going to just add um, like a landscape in the background, I think. So I'm going to just draw kind of maybe some trees and maybe a bush, a bush or something. So just kind of sketch in your background however you want. So mine's going to be outdoors. You can decide how you want yours to be. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my drawing with just a little bit of shading. So I'm going to give these trees a nice shadow on this side, and then fill them in the rest of the way. And I'm pretty happy with my drawing. It could use a little more work, but I'm going to stop right here and check out your drawings and see how you're doing.